You guys have been asking for a bike review and today is the day. What got me started riding bikes, BMX bikes. I love riding BMX bikes, but this video is about delivery bikes. So here we go. This is the first delivery bike that I use. It's a regular fixie, pretty much like a hundred dollar bike. It wasn't even mine, it was my friend's. I'm not gonna lie, it's really hard doing deliveries with a fixie. I saved enough money to buy an electric bike. This is a beginner class electric bike. It has a 36 volt, 350 watt motor. It's pretty much a beginner bike, top speed of 18 miles an hour. I had a small basket in the back, but now I removed it. Price range on this bike is about $700. It was a really good beginner bike, $700. I made that back in one week. After about a year riding this bike, I decided to get a better bike, a stronger bike and a longer lasting bike so i went with this bike you guys were asking about what bike it is and all the specs and all the equipments that i use on it so here's a breakdown on everything it's an xt9 this one has a 750 watt motor compared to the 350 watt one so it's pretty much like double the power and the good thing about this bike is that the battery is internal so it comes from like up here all the way down here has a pretty big battery you, you can get a good range on this bike i have my alarm system right here on the handlebars quad lock mount and it comes with this case right here so all i do is put my phone here and then twist it it's really secure as you can see nothing happens it's not going anywhere oh let's go and when i'm gonna remove it all i have to do is press this button right here and then twist it back and it comes off this is really important because you don't have to use both hands i can pretty much put it while riding over here we have one of the most important things on the bike which is this um this butt cushion right here this is important especially if you're gonna do deliveries more than six hours eight hours a day you need this now coming to the bike rack this bike rack only works if your bike has front suspension if your bike has full suspension this won't work because as you can see it's attached to the body of the bike this piece comes separate this is a mud crate and then I have a delivery bag here. What I did is I just clamped it on the seat body and on the other side as you can see over there. Here comes the sketchy part. What I did with the milk crate is I just zip tied it. It is a bit sketchy, but if you think about it, the zip ties aren't really holding the weight because the rack is holding the weight. It's this piece of metal right here. That's holding the weight, put a lot of zip ties. I've never had a problem with it. I've had a couple zip ties snap before, but I just replaced it. This is pretty much how I attached the milk crate to the rack on the bike. The delivery bag inside of the milk crate. So those were like connected. It was pretty much like a handle. I cut it in the middle and I zip tied it to the milk crate. This way the bag isn't going anywhere. It's pretty sturdy as you can see, like the whole bike moves with it. And that's what you want. I've done almost like 1,500 miles on this bike. The only problem that I had when I got the bike, the derailleur, was a bit bent so changing gears was hard because the chain kept falling off i did try to adjust the derailleur but still while pedaling if i'm going really fast and shift really fast the chain does still slip off other than that the brakes the brakes that the bike came with only lasted about 800 miles and the thing is the brake pads on this bike is not universal so what i did is i just changed the whole caliper both front and rear it cost me about 80 bucks but now i have pads that are universal and i can change it it's pretty much 15 dollars for a pair of pads so it's not really bad a lot of you guys have been asking about the display i love the display on this one but unfortunately i don't think you can buy those separately because it came with a bike but i did find some on aliexpress it's called the m5 display if you search it up on google you can find this it's like one of the best displays that i've ever used on an electric bike and as you can see the bike has a throttle here just in case you want to use full electric you can just press the throttle and it will automatically kick in even though this is a pedal assist bike you can use throttle whenever you want but the bad thing about using this is that your battery drains way faster than if you just pedal the bike. It can take you about 60 miles on pedal assist. If you just use throttle, it will probably take you around 35, max 40, depends on your weight and everything. For the price, this is a really good bike. This bike was about $1,300, but if you calculate like all the accessories on it, this one is about $50, probably like $80 with the case and everything. This bag is about $80. You can also find this on Amazon. I'll probably put the link in the description. The milk crate was about $40 and this rack was about $35. $300 on accessories with the rotors, the brake pads and everything. And the bike is $1,300. So it cost me about $1,600 for this full bike. And I made the money back in two weeks. You pretty much pay off the bike using the bike. This is the Aerial Rider Grizzly. It's a 52 volt electric bike that comes with two motors instead of one. As you can see over here, 
it has a thousand watt motor in the front and then you got a thousand watt motor in the back. I got this bike four days ago. I did do some changes on it to fit a delivery bike. I changed the handlebars. It's a bit lower now. It's lower than the factory one. It's better for deliveries because I have more control on the bike now. Not only does this bike have dual motors, but it also has dual batteries. As you can see, you have a battery over here and then you have another battery over here in the frame. So two batteries, two motors and dual suspension. I'm way happier how the bag setup on this bike is frame on this bike goes all the way back here and there's actually four holes in the frame that you can attach a mount to here there's four bolts one two and then three and then four right there that hold this piece of wood and then i just put the milk crate on it there's three screws on the right side that goes through the crate into the wood and the same on the left side on top of that i put 14 more zip ties over here those zip ties go through the milk crate from inside all the way around from this side and then it goes back here this thing ain't going anywhere even though the bike is 100 pounds there's no movement at all this bike's throttle is a bit different than the one that i use currently it's like a half throttle as you can see and then you have the option to change between all-wheel drive or front wheel drive or rear wheel drive this bike is two and a half times more powerful than this bike. The reason why I bought this bike is for the summer because you don't even need to pedal. You can just sit on it and then throttle it. You have a lot of range, a lot of power, so you don't need to pedal. I love the way the new bike looks. $700, $1,300, $3,300. And I don't think I'll ever stop riding this bike. I want my TikTok channel to just be focused on delivery-based videos. And I'm gonna use my YouTube for videos like this. I hope I answered to most of the questions that you guys ask on the TikTok videos. But yeah, I hope you guys liked the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See y'all later.